Between Election Day and January 6th, the Trump campaign sent millions of fundraising emails to Trump supporters, sometimes as many as 25 a day. The emails claimed the, quote, left-wing mob was undermining the election, implored supporters to, quote, step up to protect the integrity of the election, and encouraged them to, quote, fight back. The claims that the election was stolen were so successful, President Trump and his allies raised $250 million. But as the select committee has demonstrated, the Trump campaign knew these claims of voter fraud were false. Yet, they continued to barrage small dollar donors with emails, encouraging them to donate to something called the Official Election Defense Fund. The select committee discovered no such fund existed. I don't believe there is actually a fund called the Election Defense Fund. Is it fair to say the election defense fund was another, I think we called it a marketing tactic? Yes. On November 9th, 2020, President Trump created a separate entity called the Save America PAC. Most of the money raised went to this newly created PAC, not to election-related litigation. $1 million to Trump Chief of Staff Mark Meadows' charitable foundation, $1 million to the America First Policy Institute, a conservative organization which employs several former Trump administration officials, $204,857 to the Trump Hotel Collection, and over $5 million to Event Strategies, Inc., the company that ran President Trump's January 6th rally on the ellipse. The Trump campaign and its surrogates misled donors as to where their funds would go and what they would be used for. So not only was there the big lie, there was the big ripoff.